Good evening from the International Space Station Flight Control Room here at the Johnson Space Center in Houston and our coverage of the arrival of a new Russian resupply ship to the International Outpost. At this hour here in Houston, the Orbit 3 team of flight controllers is on console monitoring the final approach of the ISS Progress 61 cargo craft for a docking coming up uh, just 39 minutes from now to the International Space Station's Zvezda service module. On console at this hour, leading the Orbit 3 team is Flight Director Emily Nelson. Uh, she is presiding over activities here in Houston and working in concert with her Russian counterparts half a world away at the Russian Mission Control Center outside of Moscow in the town of Karolyov. They are monitoring all of uh, their data console displays and all of the systems of the Progress vehicle as it moves in for a link up to the aft port of the Zvezda service module to deliver more than three tons of food, fuel and supplies for the Expedition 45 crew. That six-man crew up on board the International Space Station led by NASA astronaut Scott Kelly, the ISS commander. Uh, they are technically in their sleep period at the moment, but they are up monitoring the arrival of the progress that has been flawless in its performance so far since its launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Just uh, five and a half hours ago on the launch pad in Baikonur, the uh, Progress vehicle sitting atop uh, its Soyuz booster uh, began its journey to the International Space Station with a launch uh, that occurred at 11.49 and 40 seconds a.m. Central Time. 10.49 and 40 seconds p.m. at the Cosmodrome. It was a cloudless sky. Temperatures were in the high 40s Fahrenheit as the Soyuz booster, the three-stage booster, took off right on time from Site 1, Gagarin's start, as it is known. Uh, it uh, began its roll, pitch, and yaw program, uh, gracefully gliding uh, to the northeast of the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Just two minutes before the launch, the International Space Station passed directly over the Baikonur Cosmodrome, uh, and the chase began uh, for the progress to catch up with the International Space Station. Two minutes after launch, uh, the first stage separated, uh, the four strap-on liquid fuel boosters separated, and the second uh, stage uh, kicked into gear. Uh, moments, minutes later, the third Third stage engine ignited, and less than nine minutes after launch at the eight minute 46 second mark, the uh, third stage shut down as planned. The Soyuz uh, booster fell away. The uh, Progress resupply ship separated from the third stage, deployed its solar arrays and its navigational antennas, and began uh, to. Uh, conduct a pre-programmed series of engine firings to increase its altitude to match that of the International Space Station and finally uh, to uh, begin the final approach for the station that will culminate in its docking just 36 minutes from now. There is a um, good view of the uh, engineering crosshair overlay of uh, the data coming from the Progress vehicle as it closes in for a link up to the International Space Station. Uh, currently, uh, the uh, Progress is about four and a half kilometers away from the International Space Station uh, and a link up. Uh, the uh, Progress, as uh, we are accustomed uh, to seeing, uh, will begin a fly around of the International Space Station about 13 and a half minutes from now. Uh, completing a fly around for a period of station keeping, aligning uh, itself uh, with the aft port of the Zvezda service module at a distance of just 183 meters. After that short period of station keeping to enable uh, the flight control team uh, in uh, Karyov uh, to uh, assess uh, the data and uh, to approve uh, the initiation of the final approach, the progress will inch its way toward uh, the Zvezda service module with docking scheduled at 5.54 p.m. Central Time, 6.54 p.m. Eastern Time. On board uh, the Progress, uh, 3.1 tons of cargo in the form of 1,940 pounds of propellant, 110 pounds of oxygen, 926 pounds of water, and some 3,400 pounds of dry cargo in the form of spare parts and experiment uh, uh, components, uh, a total of 6,373 pounds of cargo loaded in to the Progress vehicle. Once the Progress uh, docks to the aft port of the Zvezda service module, there will be a couple of minutes of um, 
an opportunity for the relative motion between the two vehicles to dampen out against one another, at which point the forward docking probe on the Progress will retract uh, and uh, the uh, latching of the hooks on both sides of the docking interface will initiate to form a hard mate between the two craft. The uh, Russian cosmonauts on board the station, Sergei Volkov, Oleg Kononenko, and Mikhail Kornienko, uh, will uh, conduct a leak checks uh, for a period of time before they begin their sleep period, but the actual opening of the hatch to the progress will not uh, take place until mid-morning tomorrow. The uh, International Space Station and the Progress flying in tandem now are uh, 252 statute miles above the Earth flying over the South Pacific, about to begin a southwest to northeasterly track that will carry uh, the two vehicles to a point over the North Atlantic uh, at the expected docking time of 5.54 p.m. Central Time, just 33 minutes from now. Oleg, so stand by for the Eska de Burn. We see it. We see that the maneuver has started. All of the progress systems have uh, functioned flawlessly since its launch uh, from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Uh, that launch occurring five hours and 32 minutes ago, as you saw just a moment ago in the replay of the launch uh, from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Uh, all of the progress burns have been, have been executed in uh, perfect fashion. Uh, the core's automated rendezvous system antennas on both the uh, progress and uh, the uh, the passive uh, core's antenna uh, on the Zvezda service module uh, communicating and relaying data, bouncing data back and forth, if you will, to provide navigational information for the onboard computers on the progress. All of that has gone by the book uh, in uh, perfect fashion with no issues reported uh, by the flight controllers at the Russian Mission Control Center in Korolyov. The uh, progress is executing uh, a pre-programmed set of uh, what are known as uh, engine impulses, small mid-course correction burns uh, to perfectly align its approach uh, to the International Space Station. Again, uh, it will arrive in the neighborhood of the station just a few minutes from now to begin a fly-around in which uh, the uh, progress uh, we'll begin uh, that fly around of the station at a distance of about uh, 400 meters away from the station, a fly around angle of about 58 and a half degrees uh, to uh, align itself uh, to the aft port of the Zvezda service module uh, and a, a docking that will occur uh, a few minutes after that. You can see coming into the uh, field of view in this progress uh, a camera on board, uh, the uh, International Space Station right in the middle of the crosshairs External truss cameras on the station now also picking up a view of uh, the progress vehicle that you see there. Just uh, five and a half hours ago, it was on the launch pad in Baikonur. Now it's uh, completing uh, its final approach uh, for a link up uh, that will uh, result in two progress vehicles being at the International Space Station. The other, the Progress 60 craft, uh, which uh, arrived at the International Space Station back in July, is uh, docked to the pier's docking compartment on the uh, Earth-facing side of the Russian segment of the International Space Station. There are also two Soyuz vehicles uh, that are present at the International Space Station, one on the Rosviet module, one on the Poisk module, uh, to accommodate the six crew members on board the International Outpost. The arrival of uh, the Russian resupply vehicle coming just three days after the departure of the Japanese H-2 transfer vehicle, the HTV, better known uh, by the uh, name White Stork or uh, the Japanese word Kanatori. Uh, it uh, completed its five-week delivery mission of some five tons of supplies to the International Space Station, including experiment hardware. Uh, the uh, HTV uh, was... Uh, we are into the unberthed and released from the uh, Canadarm2 robotic arm on uh, Monday and uh, 
began its deorbit back into the Earth's atmosphere and uh, a destructive reentry harmlessly over the Pacific Ocean on Tuesday afternoon. So in the wake of the departure of the Japanese HTV resupply vehicle, uh, the Russian progress now in the final stages of its approach for a link up uh, to deliver three additional tons of food, fuel and supplies for the half dozen residents on board the International Space Station. Working fine. Push. Working fine. Everything's nominal. We copy. Please proceed to working page 21. And now activate PEU BPS panel. Um, send the PEU BPS initial command. With also command PEU BPS initial has also been sent. And please leave Toru in hot backup. Copy. Toru is in hot backup. Now proceed to... You're hearing uh, Russian flight controllers at the Russian Mission Control Center in Korolyov uh, relaying uh, instructions uh, to uh, Sergei Volkov and uh, Alek Kononenko, who are at a uh, control panel uh, in the Zvezda service module. Uh, they have activated the Toru system, the telerobotically operated system that would be used in the unlikely event a problem would crop up with the CORE's automated rendezvous system. That CORE system has uh, operated uh, by the book so far. No problems reported as uh, the progress is on automated approach uh, to begin its fly around of the station just under six minutes from now. All right, maybe we can actually use the AGC mode to improve the image. As you can see in the lower left-hand corner of this uh, engineering view from the Progress external television camera, uh, the Progress uh, is measuring a range uh, from the International Space Station of just over one kilometer. For page 20, no, 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 you go to page 30 of the RODF. Okay, but it's uh, the note is on page 20. We copy. So this uh, progress uh, that is in the uh, final stages of its approach for docking to the station will remain linked to the aft port of the Zvezda service module until early December. The next Progress vehicle, the 62 Progress, is scheduled uh, for its launch uh, on November 21st. Uh, before it launches, uh, the 60 Progress already made it to the uh, piers docking compartment on the Earth-facing side of the Russian segment of the station will have departed. How is the image? Not as good, and we are deactivating uh, Rabota. Okay, and... Todd Miller, the uh, visiting vehicle officer here in Mission Control, uh, reporting uh, that the series of uh, thruster firings uh, called impulse burns are continuing uh, and are in good shape. Uh, everything on track with a fly around of the International Space Station plan just under four minutes from now. And please continue reporting because our image uh, and the video are freezing up. We copy. The range is 700, and uh, the range rate. A good view of the International Space Station from the external television camera on the progress, as uh, progress and the International Space Station are now just uh, 600 meters apart from one another. Uh, flying over the South Pacific, moving from southwest to northeast in an orbit inclined 51.6 degrees to either side of the equator. The, the range is 600 and the range rate is 1.8. Uh, the burn is completed. Copy.
как раз со стороны служебного модуля заходим. So we are coming from the side of the service module. So you will uh, feel probably a push on the access of the docking uh, assembly. Russian flight controllers uh, informing uh, Volkov and uh, Kononenko uh, that uh, they can expect to feel uh, a nudge, a push, if you will, uh, at the aft end of the uh, Zvezda service module in which they are currently uh, located. At the time of docking, once again, uh, once uh, contact and capture occurs, there will be a, a period of uh, a minute or so uh, to allow the relative motion of the two vehicles to settle out. Uh, before the forward docking probe on the progress begins to retract. Uh, that will enable hooks to engage to form a hard mate between the two spacecraft. Approaching uh, the time of the initiation of the fly-around of the progress to align itself to the aft port of the Zvezda service module, uh, progress now just 420 meters away. Uh, 400 is the range, the range ratio is 1.3, and we are seeing the fly around. Yes, we are monitoring the beginning of the... And right on schedule, uh, Russian flight controllers have confirmed the initiation of the fly around by the progress as it uh, begins a 58-degree uh, uh, angle fly around uh, to align itself with the aft port of the Zvezda service module, a good view from external cameras now on the truss of the International Space Station, showing the, the unpiloted progress craft as it closes in for its automated docking to Zvezda. You can see on the right side of the progress uh, that uh, what appears to be a flashing light is uh, actually a, a radio beacon uh, that uh, relays uh, information back and forth to uh, the comparable system on the Zvezda service module to help compute updated navigational information for the progress and the Corps' automated rendezvous system during this period of uh, the fly around and final approach. The International Space Station is approaching uh, the west coast of South America, soon to fly over the Ecuadorian capital of Quito.
report uh, from the Russian uh, Mission Control Center in Korolyov indicates that uh, the progress is nearing the halfway mark of its fly-around. Very stable, all of its systems in excellent shape. In the final minutes of its express delivery of more than three tons of supplies to the International Space Station, a good view of the Progress 61 cargo craft, which launched five hours, 47 minutes ago from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. This high-definition view from the uh, high-definition external viewer camera on the International Space Station showing a spectacular view of the progress as uh, it approaches the west coast of South America at an altitude of 252 statute miles. In the foreground uh, is the Progress 60 cargo craft that has mated to the pier's docking compartment. Next to it, uh, one of the two uh, Soyuz vehicles at the Rosviet module of the International Space Station. Just about five degrees of fly around uh, left to go. Station keeping should be initiated uh, any moment now at a range of about 200 meters. Copy, Alec, uh, please monitor uh, the fly around. The fly around now confirmed to be complete. Uh, the progress uh, conducting a roll maneuver. This uh, will uh, position its solar arrays in the right angle uh, for final approach for docking to the aft port of the Zvezda service module. The maneuver is uh, practically by 180 degrees. Uh, it is roll maneuver. Uh, please continue monitoring the maneuver. So the range is 170.1 uh, for uh, range rate. Uh, now please control final approach. Alec, send the command final approach or uh, from PPS panel. Activate 
PPS Initial, он БПУ. Как принимаете? Хао копи, Олег. Принято, перешли на вторую диаграмму, выдаем. We are on the second page of the radiogram. So BPS initial on PO BPS, работа or operation and format 44. The commands have been sent. And I deactivate работа. Работа is deactivated and we have причал, причал or final approach. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, the final approach has been initiated on command uh, by the crew on board uh, the International Space Station. Again, an automated approach. Uh, the final uh, 158 meters separating uh, progress and the aft port of the Zvezda service module. The International Space Station and progress currently flying uh, over the border between Ecuador and Colombia, about to move uh, just to the northwest of the Colombian capital of Bogota and off the northern coast of South America into the Caribbean Sea. We are also approaching an orbital sunset. Okay, yes, it has. At the uh, time of contact and capture to the aft port of the Zvezda service module that you see almost in the middle of the crosshairs in this engineering external camera view from the progress itself, uh, the uh, rate of closure will be about one tenth of a meter per second. So the range is 118 meters, uh, 0 0.6 uh, is range rate. Copy, Alec. Russian flight controllers at the Russian Mission Control Center report that progress is right down the middle of the approach corridor. All of the progress systems functioning normally. Are you receiving the image, Andrei? Yes, we are. Alec, copy. Progress now just 73 meters away. At about the 45 meter mark, uh, the core's antenna will be retracted on automated uh, time tagged command. We're about uh, 10 minutes away from contact and capture. The range is 60, uh, 60 and the range rate is 0 0.3 meters. Uh, copy, Alec. So the crosshairs uh, is not visible. Any more copy? Try to use AGC, Alec. That is the only recommendation we can give. Copy. Just 48 meters separating uh, progress from its destination. Everything in great shape. The International Space Station has passed uh, off the northern coast of South America, 
over the Caribbean Sea, about to begin a pass directly over Puerto Rico. The target, uh, but the station is too bright. The uh, Corps' automated uh, rendezvous antenna has been retracted as planned. And uh, try to adjust uh, the image so that it is, you know, the best for you. Actually, station is not that important for me, Moscow. Okay. Copy. So from the range of 30 meters, you will have to send the command Robota operation uh, and uh, also the um, plus X command. Олег, please try to use AGC mode. Uh, okay, so the uh, range is 30, and uh, we have activated Robota operation, and we are sending at what plus X. The commands have been sent. We are receive, We are observing, monitoring. Copy, Alex. So the crosshairs in the center of the display, maybe half a degree to the left. Please uh, control the range uh, as per the angle of the target. The uh, automated approach of the uh, Progress resupply vehicle, uh, you can see the crosshairs in this engineering uh, television camera on the outside of the Progress as it uh, slowly but surely aligns itself with a docking target that is just uh, below the actual docking port that you see at the top of your screen. Just 35 meters separating uh, Progress from Zvezda. Once again, uh, following the docking itself, the forward docking probe on the resupply craft will retract to initiate uh, the latching of hooks on both sides of the docking interface uh, between Progress and Zvezda to form a hard mate. The actual opening of the hatch to Progress will not uh, take place until mid-morning on Friday. The range is 20 in inaudible. The range rate dropping off. The target is half a degree to the left and up a little bit. Copy. Inside 25 meters, everything going uh, swimmingly. The International Space Station and progress flying over the Atlantic Ocean. We have instruct, uh, instruction uh, or uh, and Baza also. Okay, so we are monitoring the approach. The range is 15 meters according to my ruler. Okay, 15 meters. So there is a little bit of roll. Okay, uh, control the roll. The range is inaudible. About 12 meters to go. Progress having launched just over six hours ago from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. The target is in the center of the screen. Copy. 
the range is, as per the ruler, inaudible. So the uh, communication is not stable, is not reliable. Nine meters is the range, as per the ruler. Now I copy you nine meters, Alex. Okay, the image is uh, blinking. Six meters is the uh, range. Okay, copy six meters, so there is a bit of interference. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so it is twitching a little bit, the screen, I mean, but we are observing the target. Copy. Good view of the docking target. Four meters is the range. Four meters to go as we stand by for contact and capture of the International Space Station. Copy, Alex. Three meters. We have a little bit of roll. Copy, Alex. Two meters is the range. Copy, two meters. One meter, we're standing by for the contact. Copy, one meter. Standing by for the contact. Contact. Contact confirmed. Indicator mode. All right, we can see this as well, Alex. Capture confirmed. Docking confirmed at 5.52 p.m. Central Time. As progress in the International Space Station flew 252 statute miles over the North Atlantic, six hours and three minutes from launch to docking for the newest resupply craft now having arrived at the International Space Station. Okay, copy, Andrei. Now, congratulations on the successful docking, Alec. Thank you, Andrei. We also congratulate uh, you know, all the guys and team in Moscow. Once again, docking occurred at 5.52 p.m. Central Time, completing a journey of six hours and three minutes from the launch pad of the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Progress 61 at the station to deliver 3.1 tons of food, fuel, and supplies. We'll now wait uh, for the relative motion between the two craft, the Progress, and the station itself to settle out. The uh, docking probe on the Progress uh, will retract. Hooks will engage to form a hard mate uh, between the two vehicles. So as we wait uh, for the forward docking probe to retract, uh, a flawless uh, six-hour journey uh, for the Progress 61 cargo craft. Every step of the way, the launch, the ascent, uh, the Progress's delivery into its initial orbit, and every uh, engine firing during the course of the pre-programmed rendezvous went uh, as advertised. Again, docking occurring at 5.52 p.m. Central Time, 252 statute miles over the North Atlantic.
Control Houston. We now have confirmation uh, that the forward docking probe on the Progress 61 cargo craft has retracted and the hooks are closed, forming a hard mate uh, between Progress and the aft port of the Zvezda service module. So to recap, a uh, flawless uh, journey of six hours, three minutes for the Progress 61 cargo craft, having launched at 11.49 and 40 seconds a.m. Central Time, from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, uh, arriving in its initial orbit uh, eight minutes and 46 seconds after launch, all of the pre-programmed engine firings to increase its altitude and to uh, begin the journey to catch up to the International Space Station went uh, by the book with no issues whatsoever, docking occurring just a couple of minutes ahead of schedule at 5.52 p.m. Central Time as uh, the Progress and the International Space Station flew over the North Atlantic. And again, we now have confirmation that the hooks are closed, a hard mate uh, between Progress and the International Space Station's Zvezda service module. So with that, uh, we'll wrap up our coverage. Uh, just a note, uh, tomorrow on Friday, uh, Space Station Live will air at its usual time of 10 a.m. Central Time, 11 a.m. Eastern Time to recap all of the activities associated with the Progress 61 launch and docking, as well as taking a look at the final day of the crew's work week on board, which has been extremely busy for the six crew members on board the International Space Station comprising the Expedition 45 crew. So with that, uh, we'll conclude our coverage for this evening. Progress 61 safely arriving at the International Space Station. With that, uh, from Mission Control in Houston, we bid you a good evening, and we'll see you back here tomorrow for Space Station Live. This is Mission Control Houston. Give me the number one more time.